Hey guys, have you ever wondered which is the best table bread you could possibly serve on a table? Did I just say table twice? Damn it! <laughs> So today we're making focaccia. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but focaccia was initially a breakfast item. It was had by workers who didn't have a lot of money and had very little time to eat. Come to think of it, that's not a bad way to start the day. You know, focaccia in one hand, coffee in the other, walking on the streets of Milan. I could live with that. So traditionally when making focaccia, you need to knead the dough for about 10, 15 minutes until you have an elastic dough. But that's not what we're doing today. We are making a no knead version. So you don't need to work very hard to have a nice loaf of bread. And I'm going to show you how to do it. The no need method may be less effort, but takes a bit of time because unfortunately, God doesn't give with both hands. To start with, in a measuring jug, you're going to take 205 ml of lukewarm water. Make sure it's not hot, otherwise the yeast will die. To that, you're going to add 1 teaspoon or 3 grams of active dry yeast, 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of good olive oil. Give it a mix and set aside for 10 minutes. Now in a bowl, you're going to take 2 cups or 250 grams of flour, 2 teaspoons or 10 grams of sugar, and 1 teaspoon or 5 grams of salt. Now with a spatula, you're going to mix the two together until they are just combined and there are no dry spots of flour left. Cover with a damp cloth and rest for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, uncover the dough and you're going to pour 10 ml of olive oil along the sides of the dough. This is important to ensure that the dough doesn't stick to the bowl or your hands when you're giving the dough its first fold. To explain the folds easier, let's do this like clockwork. So let's do 3, 6, 9 and 12. Now make sure your hand is well oiled because this dough is going to stick. You're going to first lift the dough at 3, stretch it upwards and bring it to the center. Then you're going to take the dough at 9, stretch it upwards and bring it to the center. You're going to do the same at 6 and 12 until all four sides have been stretched and brought to the center. Then you're going to flip the dough so the side facing down is now facing up. Tuck the dough into itself to ensure the fold that you made earlier is sealed underneath. Then we're going to cover with a damp cloth and rest for 30 minutes. We're going to repeat this process two more times at 30 minute intervals. In total, we're doing the fold three times. One after 20 minutes, the second after 30 minutes and the last one after an additional 30 minutes. After the final fold, we're going to rest the dough for half an hour. Now we've created a lot of air bubbles in the folding process and we don't want to burst them so be gentle when handling the dough. After half an hour, you're going to transfer the dough onto your baking tray. Now this step is optional. You can give it another fold but you can completely skip the step. The result will still be great. Cover the tray with a damp cloth and let it rise for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, drizzle olive oil on the dough and sprinkle dried herbs or za'atar or sumac, whatever you like. Unlike me, you should also sprinkle sea salt on top. It will add a great flavor. Preheat your oven to its highest setting. Mine goes till 230 degrees Celsius. Put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown and that's your beautiful focaccia. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is an extremely simple recipe to make. Yes, it's slightly time consuming, but it is completely and utterly worth it, I promise you. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.